Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I've shared a lot of videos about a day in the life of me creating UGC videos, but I've never went into full detail of the start to finish creative process of how I film these videos, edit them, and how I know what kind of content I need to create for the project. So today we're gonna to be talking all about that. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. Okay, so you negotiated your deal, you have your rate, you have your turnaround time, awesome. The first thing that the brand is going to send you after that is the creative brief. Now, this is going to share a lot about the brand, the product, and what kind of content they want you to create. So obviously the brand is going to share their brand's values and missions. They're also going to be sharing the key product features of the product that you're going to be featuring in your content. So for the purpose of this video, I did a mock UGC project with The Ordinary. I featured the niacinamide and zinc serum. I use this stuff every day, so this was really easy to create content for. But if I did get a creative brief for from The Ordinary. It would probably talk about how it's made with niacinamide and zinc, all of the key benefits with niacinamide and zinc, what the serum helps with, which is awesome, especially if you're creating content for like three reasons why you need to buy this product or just to share a product focused video. So you definitely need to pay attention to those product features. Also, they're gonna be talking about filming guidelines. So they're gonna share the orientation that your video should be. A 16 by nine is the orientation that you're watching on right now, but a nine by 16 is a vertical video. So that's basically, what a lot of these projects are because it is short form video and it's going to be on TikTok. Lighting always, always have like best natural lighting or just like make sure your video is well lit up, not a lot of darkness or shadows in your videos. And also just some best practices. Maybe they have a certain style of content that they want you to create. They'll definitely showcase that in their creative brief and be very clear about that. Besides filming guidelines, they're going to be talking about the content of video. So they are either going to say, we want a TikTok inspired video. Maybe they want a testimony style video. Maybe they want just a product focused video. They'll be very clear with that in the creative brief. A lot of times you do have a lot of creative freedom within that. So they might just share some ideas in case you don't have any content ideas. And to go along with that, they will most likely share the best performing TikToks that they have or just some good videos that they've seen online that they want replicated. So there'll definitely be some video examples in there. So this is just perfect to figure out what the brand's mission is, what kind of content to create. And overall, this is gonna be really easier on your end to just look over and read. And then you can start scripting all of your content ideas based on that creative brief. Okay, let's talk about what I use to film these videos. A lot of people think that you need a huge fancy camera, you need this expensive setup. No, no, no. What I use to film my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Just use your iPhone, whatever kind of phone you have. Smartphones these days have amazing camera quality, so I highly recommend just filming on your phone. What it really comes down to is the camera settings. So if you go to your settings and down to camera, this is if you have a Apple phone, you are able to adjust the quality of your video and the settings. So for record video, I'm at 4K at 60 frames per second. This obviously takes a lot of storage up, so I'm very careful about like deleting clips as soon as I'm done filming them and importing them, but this has a higher resolution and the footage just comes out smoother. Those are my settings. Definitely play around with it. Maybe do some test shots before you decide what kind of resolution you wanna go for. Also, side note, if you do have an Apple phone and your devices are updated, you can actually mirror your camera onto your MacBook. So that's one feature that I've learned to be super Super helpful because the back camera is obviously the best quality you can get out of your iPhone. The front camera is still pretty good, but the back camera is way better, but it's super convenient. It's like a mini like camera monitor, which is really cool. So my camera is positioned right here. I can just look at the laptop and make sure that I'm in frame and everything looks good, lighting looks good, so now we can start rolling. Now we talked about lighting earlier, it's one of the most important things when creating content. So I have a couple ring lights that I will link down below. I'll actually have my storefront link down below, which will have all of my UGC and like filming equipment. I have two ring lights, one is a bigger one that I'm currently using right now, and I also have a smaller ring light because sometimes I have to film big projects like this and I need a bigger ring light. So Sometimes I'm just filming 
on my vanity and I need a little boost of light so I just use my mini ring light it's good to have some variety for me personally natural lighting is the best way to go but in instances where I do need better lighting if it's darker out if it's a gloomier day then you definitely should invest in a good ring light also another thing that you're gonna need is a tripod I have many different tripods and I definitely have my go-to's. So the one I'm currently using right now is by Manfrotto. It's definitely a pricier one. However, I feel like it's so worth it because I use it literally all the time. I also have a phone mount attachment so I can record my UGC content on my phone using this tripod as well. I honestly have used the $30 Amazon tripods and they break so easily. So if you have a little bit of wiggle room, definitely invest in a really good tripod. But if you want something a little smaller, I will definitely link this one down below. It is honestly one of the best iPhone tripods I've ever used. It's super portable. There's different sizes. It is perfect if you're shooting photos for Instagram as well, or you just need like a super simple tripod. Maybe you're just like, you know what? I just need something to put my phone on. That's it and I totally get that. So I will, again, link that one down below. One of my best practices for filming UGC content is refilming the same thing over and over. And you guys are gonna see that in the filming process side of the video. I just switch my phone up into different angles and I just film one thing, switch the angle, film it again, and just like film over and over in all of these different angles and lightings because obviously you're gonna need some variety of clips when you're filming multiple videos and you wanna save yourself some time and stress. So I highly recommend just trying that out, playing around with the different angles and the camera shots. So the main focus of these videos is the serum. So I'm gonna do, again, as many different B-rolls as possible. I'm gonna hold the product so you can see the label. I wish today was like a sunny day and like sun was going in through the windows because some sunlight shots are amazing. They're just like a guaranteed winner. That's good for like the product focus. I did skincare routine and then I can use some footage for the three reasons why I love this product. And that was done in like 12 minutes. Okay, let's talk about video editing. Now this is hands down one of the most important steps in the video production process. You put all of your clips together and you can literally set a whole new mood just by the way of editing from filters to music to text, all of the above. So there are many different video editing apps out there. The most common is Splice, CapCut, iMovie, Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't have to go super expensive with editing software. CapCut is completely free and you can do it from your mobile device and also through desktop. And I did a review recently about editing on the CapCut desktop. So if you wanna see that video, then click on the card up there. But personally, I use Final Cut Pro to this day. I have always used that editing my YouTube videos, so it makes sense to edit my short form and my UGC content on there as well. So because I filmed everything on my phone, I'm gonna go ahead and import all of the video clips I put together on my phone onto my desktop so we can edit them. Now while that is doing its thing, I wanna talk about this hard drive. It is not absolutely necessary to have at the beginning. However, this is a nice investment for down the line if you do content creation consistently. This is a Lacey external hard drive. So I highly recommend getting one of these just to store all of your content and especially your raw footage when you're working on a project. The last thing you want is to be editing your project and all of a sudden your storage runs out. It's not fun. I'm going to make a new folder called skincare because we are doing a skincare UGC. And I'm just gonna drag these videos into the folder. I'm not gonna go super detailed with like editing. I'm just gonna show you some editing techniques, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this footage into my timeline. For video one, what we're gonna do is the skincare routine. I wanna start out with the product layout. I'm gonna do like a cool little edit here in the beginning. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna splice, then I put down the cleanser right there, so I'm gonna splice it, skim through, okay, so the brightening cream is there. I'm going to delete the space between those clips. I'm gonna change the duration to like three. And then this one is gonna be zero three. With all the products together, I'm gonna take a portion of this clip 
and I'm gonna do a little Ken Burns. So at the start of the clip, I am going to be going to my video, add a keyframe to the scale, because I'm only gonna be zooming in. I'm not gonna be moving the clip around anywhere. And then I'm gonna tighten the shot a little bit. I'm just gonna go up to here and zoom in. So that's at 121% and see it automatically added a keyframe. So let's see how that looks from the beginning. Okay, not bad. The whole thing with these short form videos is you want the clips to kind of go really fast. So you want it to be as detailed as possible in the fastest way possible, if that makes sense. Now, if this was an actual UGC video, one of the guidelines would probably be to not include any other brands like the face wash. What I would do is I would do shots of the product, not with the brand. So like with the face wash, maybe I pump the face wash out and put it on my hand. The only label that should be showing is the Ordinary Serum. That's all I gotta say for that. Now I'm gonna edit the other two videos, the three reasons why I love this serum, and then a product focus video. So that's only going to show just the serum and application. So I'm gonna edit that and then I will be right back. Okay, video is edited, and for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this. That's typically what I would do for a UGC project if I'm sharing three reasons why I like the product. Now, obviously in the actual project, this would be a perfect kind of video to include those key selling points or the benefits or the ingredients in the product. So I came up with three reasons why I like this product personally. Now, I don't use anything fancy for voiceovers. I literally just use the Voice Memos app on my phone, and then I just record the voiceover and airdrop it to the editing software. Here are three reasons why you should get the Ordinary Serum. Number one, it's made with niacinamide and zinc, which treats hyperpigmentation and acne, all of your different skincare routines. Boom, that's how you do it. Literally just took like maybe less than five minutes to edit. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna be doing is adding text. Okay, right, guys, here's the thing. So I do use CapCut. It's the only editing software that like works well with TikTok, so naturally, they have the TikTok like classic font. Now the key thing about adding text is you gotta know where to put the text in your video. So you could do it in the middle, you could do it up at the top, but try avoiding it doing it at the bottom because that's where the caption is gonna live. And you kinda wanna avoid doing this side because that's gonna show the likes and the comments and the shares. So I just recommend just doing the text at the top. So now that we're done editing our videos, here are the final results. Here are three reasons why you should get the Ordinary Serum. Number one, it's made with niacinamide and zinc, which treats hyperpigmentation and acne. The serum is non-irritating and non-invasive. Also, you can apply this in the morning or nighttime, so this will go well with all of your different skincare routines. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the creative process of filming a UGC project. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.